So welcome everyone to today's video, hope you guys are doing okay and today I've got a collab with uh, Tom Gavs, check out his channel if you haven't already, go sub to him, he's a really cool guy and he does some really awesome content as well. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the top tips for smaller YouTubers just starting out and what they need to really focus on uh, to help their channel grow. So I'm going to be doing the first tip and the first tip for me is actually content, so obviously the whole thing about YouTube is actually what you put out there and it's really important that you do some good videos and some good quality videos. Some should be unique and obviously it's hard to do that I know but it needs to be unique at times and also you have to have good quality stuff so it has to be HD and also your audio as well needs to be good too. But yeah, you, you, the content is one of the main things when you start out on YouTube so you've got to stand out, you've got to start off really good. And if you start out, if you start off good, you're gonna you're gonna be a really good YouTuber later on. So that's a really good thing to put in mind. And YouTuber, as you as you're being a YouTuber, you're always progressing. You're always getting better. So don't worry if you're starting out really badly. It's only the start. You you've, you've probably only got like 10 subs, so it's all good. Uh, not many people would watch your videos at that point if you make some mistakes. But as you progress through your YouTube journey. You do actually get better. You may not see it yourself, but watching back, you definitely do see the progression. Right, so for the second tip, I would say just buying stuff. And basically, when you do start out YouTube, as Ethan said, you do want to get the highest quality of video. But sometimes you've got to work with what you have. Now, basically, say you've got an iPhone. Like, they have absolutely brilliant cameras. So there's your camera already. And that also has a built-in mic. Now, say you want to do gaming videos and that, and you've got an Xbox or a PS4. Now, I don't know if you know this, but basically, an Xbox and a PS4, they have built-in, like, game recording things. Like, the PS4 has, like, a longer one, but I think the Xbox has, like, up to five minutes. So if you're starting off and you just want to do, like, maybe trick shotting, like, with Call of Duty, then you can definitely use that. But, um, going on, like, say you've got, like, 50 subs and you might want to buy a new camera, then I'd say go for it mainly because, like, if you want to go and, like, just further on, like, quality is absolutely key. So maybe buy a new camera, maybe buy an Elgato. And for, like, audio, like, just the Blue Yeti or the Blue Snowball, they are, like, they tend to be good and the most popular choice for small YouTubers. And then for, like, audio software, then... There's like loads of free audio software. I use Audacity and it's actually pretty good. So I'd recommend that. And just all around, like you don't have to pay like crazy prices for like cameras or like like equipment. I, I started off with a 100 pound camera and then I went to a 500 pound camera. And yeah, so basically just work with what you got. And then as soon as you like progress like 100, like 150, then I'd start to like invest in YouTube. So my next tip is actually about GFX. Now, if you don't know what GFX is, if you're just starting out, basically GFX is your banner, your profile picture, and your thumbnails, and anything that's sort of uh, worth making for like pictures and stuff, basically. So uh, you need to have a good banner and profile picture. Uh, first off, it's gotta be relevant to your channel. So if you're doing a gaming channel, you don't want a banner that's got pictures of wildlife and fairy stuff and all that. But uh, yeah, you want to have a relevant banner and profile picture that's relevant to your channel and also it has to be good, you know, you don't want some random banner that you use to template for, it's got to be good quality, maybe if you can't make it then get someone else to, like a graphics designer, they're really good, there's loads of them out there on Twitter at the moment and yeah, it, that's just really easy to do, it might be quite expensive but it is worth it and it does make your channel look a hell of a lot better and more appealing. And also guys, thumbnails, thumbnails are really important as well. If you remember my old series, Channel Review Spotlight, I always talked about thumbnails and how important they are. And yeah, it's, it still is important. It probably will be important for forever, basically, because YouTube, well, sorry, but thumbnails, they, they always bring in the, the, the viewers and sometimes you get more viewers on certain videos just because the thumbnail is quite good and it, it appeals to newer viewers as well. So also guys, Newer thumbnails can help you get higher in the search rankings if it is if it's good because then you get new viewers and new, more viewers means higher in the search ranking obviously so yeah that's that's all I got to say about GFX. 
I also just want to say like with thumbnails, make them proper bright and as like bright as you can because if you've got a bright thumbnail, it's going to catch the eye proper quick but say you've got like a really dull like boring thumbnail, it's not going to really like catch the eye and say you're doing like um, like a challenge or something, add a couple of red arrows in there like they do tend to work even though they are hated but uh, don't put them in every single thumbnail because like it gets a little bit overwhelming but it does work for a couple of thumbnails. Right, so the third tip is actually like getting in a community. Now, you've got 100 subs and it's time to make friends. Like, you might not have friends in the real world, but it is time to make friends. So basically, you just go over to Twitter and you just set up a Twitter account and you just start following people with the same amount of subs as you. So say you got 100 subs, just go for around about 100 to 150 and then maybe a little bit below that to like 50 subs. And, oh, I'm going to burp. One sec. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, right, where was I? Just carry on. Um, I'll keep it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100 subs to like 150 and then a little bit below that, like 50. And just like message them saying like, yo, um, I watch your videos. If you watch them, obviously, like don't say that if you don't watch them because it's, you know, it's a bit like... A bit like weird you know what I'm saying but basically um, you just really just want to get in a community and then maybe like you can become friends with them and then you can do a collab like uh, me and Ethan are and then we'll just become YouTube famous but basically yeah just get in a community because it does help and um, sharing your videos around you never know because like say you do a collab with a certain person they are gonna most likely have totally different subscribers to you so like you could get around about 30 or 40 subscribers so like like 9 out of 10 times it is good to get into a community. So I just want to quickly finish off this video now, I don't want it to be too long, but the final tip is actually about streaming. Now obviously at the first start of the, well, well your first point at YouTube, you might not want to stream just because you probably won't get any viewers and that would be quite depressing. But later on, maybe when you got a couple hundred uh, subscribers, you should start live streaming because live streaming actually helps you out quite a lot. You may not think about it. Or you might not think that it does, but actually it does because if you do like a shout out stream, obviously you get more subscribers in that way. And also if you're doing a GFX stream, then obviously you can get more clients, more viewers and more subscribers that way. And also just gaming, it might be more entertaining. People might see you as your real self. You might be more genuine in the, in the streams, more laid back. And people might see you for who you actually are, which is which obviously may be good, might not be. Streaming is really, really important later on, and it can get you that more, that bit more subscribers. I also just want to add, maybe like if you have a PayPal account, you can also advertise it on your streams, and you can get like donations, and you could say like if you donate, you'll get an automatic shout out on the screen. Like that does work. I know a few YouTubers who do that, like Fusion HD does that, and he has absolutely banged subs over like the past couple of months. He went from like. 1k to 2k in like three months which is absolutely amazing so i definitely recommend streams and do shout out streams and like just basically say donate and you'll get a, get a shout out and you can get a bit of money and you can get some subscribers from it so that is actually gonna wrap up today's video guys hope you guys did enjoy it make sure to check out tom the links will be all in the description go check him out give him a sub he does some really good um, videos and also thumbnails they are really nice as well so uh, yeah go check him out give him a sub if you haven't already but that is actually gonna wrap up please like subscribe and peace